in a meaningful game, and Misery won that matchup. So you got to think Brett has revenge on his mind. This is going to be a grudge match, Falls, and this is going to be amazing. All right, Brett representing your Buffalo Bills starts out on offense, hands off to Williams. Misery on defense is able to stop him after a two-yard gain. Misery, the Steelers representative here in the club series, won that event back on March 11th. Live from Heinz Field, RG. One of my favorite things about the club series was going to a lot of the team stadiums. Yes. Actually going on the field, going in the locker room, walking out of the tunnel for these Steelers guys. Oh, watching these NFL guys engage and watching these NFL teams put on these events and allow their fans to come through and engage with all the players, the personnel, get opportunities to go onto the field, watch these Madden players battle it out to see who represents the teams. That was an amazing experience. And a great strike here from Donovan McNabb throws it downfield, picks up a first down, early 26-yard gain, gets the ball up to midfield. McNabb now in the pistol, three receivers to the left. Z Farrell's here with RG on the call today in the Club Series Championship, the first ever. McNabb goes under center, gives it to Williams again, but can't find any running lanes. And we got Brad running the De we got Brad in this game running the Denver offense and the Baltimore defense for all. Or our guy Misery is running the Rams offense and the Eagles defensive playbook. Just for in case any of the viewers at home were curious about that. Absolutely, this is that salary cap style. They get to select their playbooks. Where in draft champions, they have to choose between a few. That was our most recent event the Madden Challenge, but McNabb dropping back here for Brett. He goes down the seam in traffic, and Tammy hangs on. And Brett already coming out, slanging that rock, two for two, 45 yards, high pass in traffic. He's Look, very, very focused when you he plays. You are not going to see much emotion from our guy, Brett. This dude is a man David Katz keeps to himself. He's a man of business. He's not here for the experience and to go out, this, that, and the third. He's not here to make friends. He's all business, he's focused, and to even get him to open up to talk to you about anything, it's, it's like pulling teeth, man. He was heading back to his hotel to lab last night, practice against what he thought Misery was going to do. And like you said, they had played just a day before, so he's got some familiarity, thinks he can slow him down. But right now, he's driving pretty nicely on offense. Has to take a timeout, didn't like the look. If I'm the Buffalo Bills, too, I'm excited that that's the kind of guy I got representing for me. He is just focused at the task at hand. All he cares about is handling business for those Buffalo Bills and bringing home the trophy. And hey, if that's the guy I got representing to me, I'm not mad at that mentality at all, Falls. That was a great event. The Bills put it on. We were at 716 Sports Bar. We had Steve Tasker, the Bills legend, out there with us. And Brett won it in dramatic fashion and now he's two wins away potentially from representing those Bills not just as the Club Series champion. Ooh, fumble, Ruski. Oh, no. Ball is out and he scoops it with Brandon Marshall and decides to lay down at midfield. Misery wanted that one. Misery screaming pressure off of the edge and there's that 98 speed Deion Sanders that we talked about when going through the top five. We told you he would be screaming off of the edge and there was an example of it right there. Let's take a look at this that Dion. He'll be blitzing gotta watch out all for him, day right there. long. Very dangerous defender off the edge. And on second and 27, on, McNabb can't nice fit it in. And Misery not pleased that Brad is trying to beat him with Devin Hester in traffic. That's not a role he's known for. Devin Hester usually best in space. Yeah, obviously on Brad's team for the speed purposes. But remember, this is a 95 overall Devin Hester. An ultimate team, sometimes you will see players playing above their normal abilities. Ooh. Tried to hit him downfield to Brandon Marshall on third and 27. Couldn't complete a pass even to get into field goal range. So he's going to have to punt from midfield. That fumble on first down was critical. Let's see if he goes for a backspin punt right here. Or is he just going to pin him on the sideline? I think he's just going to try to pin him over there on the sideline, Falls. Missed a little bit of the accuracy on it, but does indeed pin him down at the 10-yard line. So a good kick from Brett. And if you have to punt, you want to punt well. Yeah, and he absolutely did right there. And that's something you're going to see when playing at this level, high level of Madden, is these guys have all aspects of the game down. Offense, defense, and special teams for all. That was a good example of it from Brett right there. Let's see what he could do on defense. In our third major, we saw great special teams from players like Skimbo uh, on kick returns. All new in Madden 17 this year, kick blocks. 
You have uh, new punts, the ability to put backspin. You have special teams fakes. You have all different elements of special teams, that third phase of the game that really factor in. And the guys who master him, it could be the difference between a win and a loss. So yeah. Misery takes over on offense. Rams playbook. Marcus Allen to his left. You see Chad Johnson, Donovan McNabb, both players selecting the Syracuse great for their quarterbacks. Yeah, and he's a good quarterback. He can do it all for all this. He's accurate, he's mobile, and then he has that gunslinger ability. What that gunslinger ability lets him do is he has a quicker release than most quarterbacks normally have, and he also is able to get more power on his throws. It's a very effective ability, something we're going to see from a number of our competitors here, and that's good defense by Bredsky. And right there, you said it, that gunslinger, the ability to get the ball out just a little bit quicker, that could have been a sack, that could have been, uh, sometimes he'll still even get that out. So very, very close McNabb was to sneak in that one out, but the ball does the, fall harmlessly down to the turf. And as my guy W would say, the problem with Misery is he didn't step up in the pocket right there, let that edge rush get to him, but he's going for it on fourth and nine falls. Huge play, eight seconds on the play clock. He sends Fitzgerald out to the right. McNabb is looking, trying to find a route. Everything's covered. He playmakers the route, and Fitzgerald hangs on. Wow, that was so crazy. He gambled, he rolled the dice, and he hit his number right there, Falls. Playmakers fits right before the pressure's getting to him, gets him in space, and if you're bred, that's extremely frustrating. Got him to fourth and nine in Madden, RG. You know, we saw bread punt early, but that's sometimes rare. Players, once they get that ball, limited clock, they want to hang on to it, you know? Yeah, we're only playing five-minute quarters, 30-second play clock. Possessions are limited in competitive Madden for all. It's not like a normal football game. So you have to maximize on your possessions. We've talked to NFL coaches and college coaches before and asked them, hey, if NFL games were only five-minute quarters with a 30-second play clock, would that change your game plan? And they've all said drastically we would have to get more aggressive. So that's why you'll see a lot of aggressiveness from our competitors uh, throughout these events. Underway in quarterfinal number two right here. Killer Mike with the victory over True Boy in the first game. Right now, Misery faces a third and three at midfield against Bread. The Buffalo Bills representative, Scream. and it looks like Vernon gets in off the edge, unblocked. Just won his move, and Bread forces a fourth and 11. Olivier Vernon, the tackle, isn't even able to engage him. That's not something you see often. When it happens, you're very frustrated. That's got to be a pain point for Misery because you got to assume your left tackle is going to do his job. And right there, he just lets Vernon run right around him. Most players, that something like that could put them on tilt. Misery seems like he's doing, dealing with it quite well. Let's see if he can make up on this fourth and 11. One second on the play clock. Gets the snap off. McNabb, fourth down. Can't find anybody. Balls Bumble out. Ruski. He's got Vernon it. And scoops it. He scores. He goes all the way in. Olivier Vernon, after a third down sack, picks up a fumble and gets six. What a difference maker in that Vernon. If you don't got him on your ultimate team squad, you might need to think about investing. Gets the sack and then the pick up for six on the next play. What an animal. 66 overall left tackle Marcus Cannon struggling to handle Olivier Vernon and defense is the reason Brett has the lead early in this one. Misery got that one fourth down but won't get a second one. Yeah, and that's what happens with Misery. He's playing with a budget offensive line. What that means is he hasn't spent a lot of salary on his offensive line. A lot of those guys are actually the minimum cap that you can spend on all linemen. So he doesn't have quality there protecting his quarterback. Whereas Brett, on the other hand, spent a lot of salary cap on his offensive line to give him some more time when he's passing the ball. Misery paying for, for that tanked yeah, offensive line right there. Donovan McNabb, John Runyon's not walking through that door, so you've got to run the ball. He did it with Marcus Allen right there to make it a second and two, a more manageable situation. Try and get out of some of those third and two, but now with that pressure, his timing seems to be off. Yeah, that, that was a rough one right there, and that, that was a timing route for us. He threw it a little bit too early before the halfback turned around and settled in his route underneath. Facing the third and two. He's been known to go for it on wide four. Open. Doesn't need to, though, as Fitzgerald gets wide open to the corner, runs to the sideline, tries to spin back in. Yeah, that, that, that's a good sign if you're misery because he was wide open with nobody around him at first. So and when you're getting people usually that open, that's a good sign for us. Look for him. Look for him to maybe go back to that corner strike play later on in a clutch situation. Misery's already cashed in for about $4,000 this year, but he wants the 20000 
He's ranked in the 20, he's ranked at 21st right now. So yeah. he's looking good to get into the championship where he'll make another five just for showing up. Yep, absolutely. And something that he mentioned is he wants to be a part of history, being the first ever Club Series champion, kind of winning that. They're looking at it as if this is Super Bowl one, And to be able to go out and say you're the first ever to win that tournament series, no one could ever take that away from you. And that's something that's very important to Misery in this event. Especially representing the Steelers. That's a championship organization, big time franchise. It would be great to bring another championship to Pittsburgh. Marcus Allen trying to help him do that with Donovan McNabb. Good play so far. Misses a tackle, and Allen can't sneak to the edge. Loses a couple. Misery, he's a confident guy. If you talk to him, he, he has a lot of jokes. He likes to talk a little bit of trash, and he's very confident. I mean, when we asked him to put a short bio together for us in, in his survey, his quote is, I'm ready to pop these sweeties and get to the money and be entertaining in the act. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Second and 13 here for McNabb. Looking across the middle. Is he going to have the time? No, he's not. He's going to throw it away. And you know what they say, RG? Misery loves company. And when he beat Bread at the Challenger event, he potentially puts Bread in a situation, like you said, do or die. Potentially, he, said, he did. Know, yeah. It's do or die for all. Bread needs to get his revenge and win this game if he wants any chance at making that $500,000 Madden Championship tournament. Sitting on the bubble is Bread for the Bills, but he's got a 7 nothing lead, and he's got his opponent right now, Misery, in a third and 13 as McNabb adjusts. Looks, has the route underneath, doesn't want to take it, tries to go to the playmaker, and he's going to scramble with yep. McNabb, and he takes a big-time hit from Jalen Ramsey. Grabs 11, but now he's facing a fourth and two. Well, you don't want to take hits with your quarterback, but if you're going to do it, you want to have a beast like Donovan McNabb, right, who's got some good carry rating, some good speed, but he gets himself in another fourth and situation, falls. He can't keep living like this. He's going for it. And Big decision here for Misery. Let's see if he can convert. Watch Johnson deep over the middle for the big play. McNabb looking across the middle, nope. and he hits the corner out. Randy Moss, everybody, one clap. He said it. Moss is the guy, the and newest we, one. And if you're at home, that's a tip to take. You've seen this strategy last game. You just saw it here, where when you get yourself in a running situation, fourth and two, third and one, Sometimes it's good to take deep shots down the field because there's all the coverage is underneath guarding the shortstop trying to stop the first down. It can be risky, but it's a great way to get chunks of yardage, especially in a game like Madden 17 that's so defensive. You give up an offensive, a defensive touchdown, then you go nine plays, 74 yards. Some resiliency from Misery. Yeah, that was a great way to answer back after, you know, giving up the offensive touchdown, letting Brett score on defense. Let's see if his defense can step up right here because Brett still hasn't put up any points mm -hmm. on offense. So players, it's a big drive for him. All the other players are watching this game right now, especially Killer Mike, who after defeating True Boy is awaiting the winner of this game between Misery and Brett. So studying up, he's a preparation guy. He's getting some notes on these guys and will be ready for whatever they throw their way. And that's how advanced Madden has become. Back when I was a player, Falls, there was no video or opportunity to watch tape. But due to, you know, Twitch and the broadcast that we put on, you talk to these guys and they're just all watching tape on each other. They're studying. And that's a cool aspect of the sport that wasn't there before that is now here for the newer generation of players. Incredibly important to have some knowledge going into the game. Know what they like to do on plays like third and nine as we got two minutes left in this one, he's going to bring it all the way down to the two-minute warning. 7-7, seven, seven. your Buffalo Bills representative, Brett. He's, he's in this. On the march. Third and nine, McNabb. Gotta he's got watch Hester to the right. Sanders right there, Falls. Potential pressure off the left edge. You see him with that defender over on the right side of the screen there. Trying to... Gain some attention from the lineman. He's got five seconds left on the play clock. He sends his receiver, Conley, in motion. Picks it up. And McNabb can't get the ball out. And now it's fourth and nine. Red wanted that one. Wow. That was a good job by Brett to motion the receiver and pick up that 98-speed blitz. That was fantastic. Good shed there. But just there. couldn't execute on, you know, making the completion was the problem. 
All right, let's see what they go with on fourth and nine. That was corner strike it looked like Brad wanted on that play. We'll see if he goes back to it. You mentioned the Broncos offensive playbook earlier, RG. Let's see where we go. Six seconds left on the play clock. A critical fourth and nine in this tie game early in our second quarter final. Brad trying to roll away. It hits the throw to Ballantyne, and he drops the rock, and Pittsburgh takes over. And that's about as much emotion as you're going to see out of Brad. Watch him drop this ball here. Ballantyne, a low-rated player, coming in and make a play. That was rough one for Brett. He needed that first down right there. And now Misery, already in field goal range, is in prime position to take the lead in this game as long as he doesn't turn the ball over. Either a field goal or a touchdown. Obviously wants the touchdown. But in my opinion, the number one priority is don't turn the ball over here and make sure you get some points and take advantage of that four and out. Marcus Allen swapping places with Jimmy Graham. Fitzgerald goes off to the left and he hands off to Allen. Why do they uh, sometimes flip that quickly right before the huddle? Well, you just want to get, sometimes it speeds your offense up to the line of scrimmage, but it's about just, you know, getting your opponent off, off uh, they keep set them up off to balance. They stop yeah. it there, and then all of a sudden it's... You flip it. It's going the other you, way. You'll see that a lot throughout this event. These guys make a lot of adjustments at the line of scrimmage falls. They're calling hot routes. They're calling audibles. They're doing their best Peyton man in Omaha impersonation, and that's something you're going to see from every high-level Madden player. Tons of adjustments at the line of scrimmage, both on offense and both and on defense. Minute 30 to go here in our second quarter final. Second quarter, tie game misery. Your Steelers rep is on the drive, but he's facing a third and ten. He's gone for every fourth down so far. Gun tight formation, Rams playbook. He's got Allen to the right of McNabb. Calling out some adjustments with seven on the play clock. He's totally cool with letting this thing tick down. Doesn't want to give bread away now. Has no timeouts. Anything. And Allen gets bottled up. And now we're going to get a field goal in this situation. And the, the interesting thing about that play call right there, Frawls, is had Misery, had bread had some more timeouts, Misery probably gets more aggressive right there. But since he knows that bread has no timeouts, he's able to run the ball and kill as much of this clock right now as the play clock will let him. So he's going to leave Brett with only about 35 seconds or so to uh, answer back on offense, and that's probably why he went so conservative right there. Had Brett had some timeouts, I think we would have saw Misery get a bit more aggressive. But he's confident that he could play defense for 37 seconds and not let Brett pick up any points, especially Brett having no timeouts to use on offense now. Critical, critical. Great clock management is a huge part of every Madden player's game. The best players can consistently make great decisions with the ball here. 33 seconds. This is important. I love how we have the players mic'd up. You kind of hear Misery talking to himself like, come on, Brad, do something stupid. And uh, yeah. so some of those sound bites, man, we get some, we get some great sound bites from these players' balls. Shout out to our production crew for hooking that up for us, huh? Getting inside the mind of these players here at the Club Series Championship. The first ever McNabb. Patience for Brett. Throws underneath, oh. but an on-the-run throw. And you saw that text underneath the screen where it said on the run. Yes, Falls. That is a very good point. When you get see that throw on the run text on the screen, that's going to let you know that your throw accuracy chance had a penalty applied to it because throwing on the run is always going to be a more difficult throw than throwing with your feet set. You've got a rating on those guys like McNabb, but of course you want to get those feet set. 28 seconds here for Brett. Probably didn't want to catch that one inbounds anyway with the clock situation. And he quick throws down the sideline, and Conley hangs on. Toe taps, gets to the 40, out of bounds. Out of bounds is the key word right there, Falls. To pick up that chunk of yardage, get a first down, and get out and stop the clock with no timeouts. Very impressive play call right there by Brett. David Katz, Columbia, Maryland, representing your Bills, trying to answer that field goal drive just before the half. He's got no timeouts, but 25 seconds left. A couple plays, an opportunity to gain some big-time yards. Use the sideline to his advantage, and he's going in traffic to Marshall, trying to maneuver that receiver, but no dice. He's 0 for 2 on that one. Yeah, trying the Volterex swerve tactic. A lot of people consider it an exploit, but it's something that's in the game, and you'll see on high-level Madden. The problem is there's only one Volterex. A lot of guys are not built like him to pull it off. 
desperate situations when people go to it and very usually unsuccessful. McNabb goes underneath and Hester takes uh -oh. a hit stick oh, fumble. Yeah. But oh. Are you kidding me? Recovers the ball on the ground. Misery, that would have been huge because he could have been able to pick that ball up. Four seconds, he's going to have to go downtown with this one. Donovan McNabb fading from the pocket, goes down That's the deep. seam, and he's going up top, and it's knocked away. Night Train Lane there, Jalen Ramsey there, 10-7 to seven at the half. Misery takes the early lead in this one, and he gets the ball going in to halftime. We got ourselves a ball game. Phenomenal defense by both of these players. But if you're Brett, you're going to need to get your passing game going. We said Misery's key to the game was stopping that pass. He's done a fantastic job of that so far, Falls, because Brett's only points have come on defense. And what does it take to bounce back from an offensive turnover like that for Misery? You have to be so confident in your game to be able to yes. come at, down after a turnover. Good point. Yeah, absolutely. You need to be able to know that your team's going to do their job going forward, and it's just on you to execute the game plan. Get that out of your head, have a short memory, and get back on your horse. And Misery did a good job of that. Let's, f let's find out more on that game plan with Dave. Thanks a lot, guys. As you mentioned, this is a game of adjustments. We knew coming in that Brad was going to be the top passer in this competition. So far, this has done a good job of making him feel a little uncomfortable. I'm really looking forward to the second half to see if Brett can get that passing game going and make this even a, a tighter ball game than it is already. Also, want to remind everybody, you see these awesome jerseys on all of our competitors. If you want to get all of your official gear, head on over to NFLShop.com. Now, as we take a look at our brackets, moving forward, we are just getting started. Second game of the day. We got IB strafing, LT coming up next, FMB Monster, and shut it down, rounding out the first eight here. I am now with the man himself, Misery. Pretty solid first half there. Beyond that turnover, how do you feel things went? Uh, good, good. I mean, just keep playing my game, and he's he ain't gonna beat me. So, <laughs> calling your shot right now. I like it. How much does it mean to you to be here representing the Pittsburgh Steelers? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, like I said when I won originally, um, I hope more and more teams get involved next year so like everyone has an opportunity to ref for each 32 teams absolutely well so far so good you are up three best of luck in the second half farls rg back to you guys all 32 teams rg that would be the future of this thing here this first ever club series the excitement is on a high level and right now misery gets the ball what does he got to do to open up this drive well, just continue your game plan. Have faith in your offense. I need to give him another shout-out, though, real quick. Frost, I love how he's calling out all the NFL teams. Hey, guys, we want you to get involved. The Madden players love you. You got guys like Dub Dot Dubby just waiting for the Eagles to throw an event. Serious Mo waiting on the Cowboys. Lights out waiting on the Jets. We want more. We want more. We want more, and We're I love Misery wants action it. action here in the second half. Anthony Pulley, Misery, on the left with the ball here and the lead. McNabb in the shotgun, Allen to his right, he's going to hand off up the middle, avoids a big hit from Barr, stumbles forward but only picks up a couple. Misery, this is one of those drives too, the clock's not a factor, start of the second half. The most important thing for him is to go down here and get six balls. He wants to make sure that he can make this a two possession ball game against a player like Brad, especially since he likes to air it out so much and can put up points in a hurry if he gets in rhythm. Absolutely. McNabb on second and eight, looks across the middle, goes to Graham, avoids another big hit, falls forward. One thing I'm noticing about Bred's lineup, RG, is that it didn't really have as many top-end superstars as some of the other players. Yeah, he uses a very balanced lineup, and part of that is because he also invests in his offensive line. A lot of people will tank that offensive line, but uh, Bred made sure that he got himself some, some beef up there on the front to protect his quarterback. And like you said, there's just a lot of balance when looking at his roster sheet here. Remember, it's ultimate team, and these players actually build their lineups however they want. That's why you see guys like Larry Fitzgerald and Donovan McNabb in those Steelers uniforms, these players. As long as they stay under that salary cap, they can throw whoever they want in this game, including legends, old school guys on their squad. McNabb goes underneath to Chad Johnson. Can't pick up the first down, but makes it a very manageable third and one. In the third and one, very manageable. And be careful. Look out. We've seen a lot. We talked about it a lot already. Players like to take shots in this situation because everyone's guarding everything underneath. And sometimes this is where they can take a chunk of yardage. Looks like he's just going to run the ball, though. Get it to Marcus Allen. Keep it safe. Get the first down. 
brings the receiver over to try and get an extra blocker. And we'll see if he fell forward for that one. No, he's oh. short, and it's fourth and inches. And we've got a crucial situation here. We haven't seen many sneaks yet today, but it is a big part of Madden. QB sneak's a big part of Madden, but another thing that's a big part is QB sneak defense. And you got to think a guy like Brett's going to be prepared to be able to blow that play up. This is an interesting chess match that goes down right here, Falls. Fourth and inches, the ball on that red line must advance it. Donovan McNabb, playmaker, trying to shift the run gap. He hands off to Marcus oh, Allen, out. blows a hole through the middle, and Anthony Barr will not catch the man from Southern California. He goes all the way in, and Misery takes a 17-7 lead. And that's the risk with trying to blow up those quarterback sneaks and trying to blow up them short yardage plays as you get all the Grizzlies and all the goons in the box. And then as soon as the hole opens up, there's no one in the second level, which allows for a big play, and Misery takes full advantage of it. And he is now up two possessions on Brett, who is still yet to score on offense. David Katz, if there's a time to turn up and get your offense going, it's right now. Cannot wait any longer if he wants to advance. He's sitting on the bubble of our final major, the championship. Top 32 players only. He's outside. Needs a couple victories today to do it. Misery's already in, and he's trying to make David Katz a very sad man here. Yeah, very sad. Play spoiler twice in, what, three days? It's not fun. Just smell a rivalry coming up between these two, huh? Brad with a great run there for Williams up the middle. Four for 11, looking focused early in this second half of our second quarterfinal at the Club Series Championship. Look at the focus of Brad. Locked in. Kid He's is so locked, locked in. in. Sweating a little bit, dead serious. No emotion. All business, just needs to get the offense right on track here. He's got a first down, he's in the pistol formation, trips to the right, play action, picks it up, and Tammy underneath grabs it. He got sacked and fumbled on that almost exact uh, handoff animation earlier, but this time just picked it up and got the ball up. It's a game of inches. He took a little side step to the left, and that was all he needed for the running back to get in there and pick up that Deion Sanders, who has just been causing havoc all day long. Deion Sanders, you pay a big premium to get him in your lineup. A guy we'll be watching later in this event. Actually, in our next matchup, LT will be featuring that Deion Sanders. Good time. Great oh, user. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> and the reason why Misery is so mad is Brett threw in the direction of his user defender. Oh, and that's gosh. never a good thing. But to be fair, Misery was oh, a little man. bit late getting there. Just because you're in the vicinity of a play with the user defender doesn't mean you're in perfect position to actually make the play. Yeah, he, he kind of faked that he was going to run with the deep route and, and came back down to the middle here as Brad looks across and yeah. cannot escape. No, no. Punt the ball. And now Misery chirping a little bit, tells trying him to get the, a punt. Tells him the punt on third and five. Getting a little ahead of ourselves here, Miz. <laughs> the thing that's rough for Brett is that Deion Sanders is causing havoc off the edge. And though he draft, and though he invested in an offensive line, the problem is Deion Sanders comes unblocked off that edge so much that they're not able to even get to him. The quick snap and the route downfield to Marshall didn't let Misery get his defense set up and he caught him off guard. Yeah, you heard Misery said, oh, the quick hike. What the quick hike is, is we talk about players make a lot of adjustments at the line of scrimmage. It's you come to the line of scrimmage on offense, you make very little adjustments and snap the ball before the opponent on defense is able to set up whatever they want to set up. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. This is our second quarterfinal here. McNabb trails. Action. But a dot, he did not get his feet in though, could not get that possession catch. And unfortunately for Brett, he needed the A button all over the place to really help him tap, toe tap like we saw in Julio Jones for Killer Mike when he defeated True Boy. Yeah, that's a really frustrating one for Brett. Put the ball in a really nice spot. The receiver just not able to get the toes down. Brett looking oh, and he can't get rid of the ball. Taylor on the sack. And that's Misery a, wanted it. And that's a big sack. That's pushing Brad into the, He's got a long field goal here. He can't afford to lose any more yards, Falls, because he needs to at least get three out of this drive. We need to make it one possession if you're Brad. Brad had a bagel for breakfast. I watched him eat it. Super ironic. Bread pudding. <laughs> Third and 21. 
Fourth quarter, though. We are taking it into the fourth quarter. Put your fours up, Brent. You need this victory to advance. This is do or die. This third and 21, no matter what, you have to get three here. You gotta make it a one score game. Absolutely, you're fighting for yourself. You're fighting for the Buffalo Bills. You're fighting to get into the Madden Championship Series. You got a lot to fight for here, Brett. He showed us during this Bills Club Series Championship that he can take it to the limit. And he's doing it again here. And McNabb's looking downfield. Not going to scramble. He's going to throw across the middle. Let's see what Misery has to say about that are you, one. Are you serious? <laughs> Throws it. Bro, what the f Not happy about it. And keep it censored, Miz. The kids are watching. Throws it at. Throws it at the user. Good, good restraint. Not get too emotional there. Not get too emotional. He's frustrated. But again, he's standing there. But the receiver was aggressively going towards the ball. That's things that are going to happen. It took me a long time to learn that as a Madden player. That just because I'm in that area with my user defender does not mean I'm going to stop the play. Throws it at the user. We like this from Brett. Second and nine. Aggressive play here in this fourth quarter. Trails by ten. The play was huge. Williams gets the handoff, goes down inside the 10, but now he faces another third and eight. He's going to hurry up. We've seen him go yep. with some quick this plays here. Does he have a route to Brandon Marshall, his big dog? This one's big because it's not two down territory. Hunter Henry, the rookie tight end for the Chargers, scores. Makes it 17-14 with four minutes to go. Bread needed it. That was a crispy third down play, Falls. The hurry up offense. Don't give him time to set up. A little play action fake and hit the tight end on the high pass up the seam. We told you to see a lot of that today, and there's another one. And we got ourselves a ball game in the fourth quarter, Falls. 11 play, 71 yard drive for Bread right there. Huge with your life on the line, your tournament life for the Madden Championship. Now, he faced. Misery, a couple days ago, he said, I know what he likes to run out of this Rams. I, I tracked down Brett in the hotel, and I said, give me, give me your thoughts on the Misery game earlier. He said, I think he ran his real stuff. I think he was running what he's actually going to do. I know what he likes to do from the Rams playbook, and I'm going upstairs right now to practice. I got I got to talk to Misery about the same thing, coincidentally enough, and he said, you know what? I wasn't running my, my real stuff, but eventually I got to a point where I, I just wanted to win. And he did start running some of that real stuff. So Brad might be prepared here. A little cat and mouse game of preparation here between these two guys. He needs a stop, does Brad on defense. But Misery checks down underneath the Allen. Good no stick hit work. stick. Avoids taking a big hit. That was a good cut by Allen to get into the open space. But we still got ourselves a third and one. But this is what We've seen him bust a big run from goal line earlier. He hit it on fourth and inches. Marcus Allen, a long touchdown run. Now he faces third and one. He's going back down to that goal line formation, packing everybody in. And Miz has been aggressive all day on offense. We've seen him go for it fourth down multiple times. So you got to assume this is two down territory. Third and one, three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Bread still has his timeouts, but he's not ready to take him yet. He wants to get the stop here as McNabb Ooh. goes for the sneak, and he picks up. One yard, but it's Fourth inches, inches, so he doesn't grab it. He actually went from the 34 to the 36, but watch this sneak. Great angle on it, McNabb. Ooh, nice angle. Grab it. With the slowdown. He challenged that? I don't know. I mean, he seemed to have some yards, but I mean, he is that was fourth cool. an inch. There it is. Does he sneak? Can Does we he hold the up? door? 240. This is big. Miss scored on a touchdown last time. Gets it. Gets it. No doubt about that one. Donovan McNabb powers it across the line. Bread having trouble defending that goal line. Three pretty good plays for Misery with the game on the line. You see that red marker for fourth down, and he's way over. Puts the ball out in front of him. It is a game of inches, Frawls. That's what Madden comes down to. Whether it's your user defender being an inch off for making the play, getting the ball the extra inch to get the first down, every little bit counts when you're playing high-level Madden at this level. He's going to throw it away, and if you're bred, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is win. winning. Yeah. Because you need those critical wins here to advance. Yeah, this is a single elimination tournament here at the NFL Club Series, so there's no group stage here. Point differential does not matter. All you need to be focused on is walking away with that W. And Misery just stopped the clock right there with a throwaway, and now he runs, and uh, uh, Brett didn't have to take a timeout. It's going to go to the two-minute warning. He's still got his timeouts left. 
Is that a slight miscalculation? Yeah, that's a good breakdown right there, Falls. He now gives Brett two chances to get, get him into a four, four and out because he has the three timeouts as well. So Brett has some chances here to step up on D. None of them might be as good, though, as this third and ten. This is a big play if you're Brett. Huge defensive stand needed here on third and ten. Brett down three, McNabb. Misery looking, scanning, has the X. Patience throws it all oh, way downfield. Oh, no, it it's Mike. Mike Evans grabs it. Oh, and Brett oh, takes man. over. <laughs> Miz hesitated for a second on throwing the corner route, tries to chuck it on the run. You saw under pressure throw, defender in yeah. the area, and Mike Evans, you talked about it, he's playing out of position. It's a special item there on Ultimate Team. Six foot five, Mike Evans. Grabs it. He's lucky he didn't get a better return. Yeah, absolutely. Could have took that back into Miz's territory, got into field goal range. But now Brett's got himself in a situation where we call this the guap drive, Falls. He can go get the guap right now. It's literally the He's got drive. Him. He's going deep. Devin has no! to throw the pick. Deion Sanders Are you serious, comes, though? It's, comes down with it. It's funny because you thought he had him. You're like, Hester's got oh. a step, but then you didn't realize. That's the 98 speed prime time Deion Sanders. And if there's one guy you're not going to beat on a deep ball, it's him, Falls. I mean, you're thinking Devin Hester is one of the fastest players to ever play football. Who could possibly catch him? Prime time. I mean, that is the oh, one the of the block. only answers to that question. Let's have another look yeah. at that one because he seemed to have the step, RG. Look, look at, at the it. recovery okay. speed. Ball is in the air Three and Dion accelerates, falls, and makes a play on it. Brett going for the rack catch, though, oh, his receiver not too aggressive. Huge move for Brett, though. He's got some timeouts available, too. You see it up at the top of his screen next to his Buffalo team name, the team he's representing here in this Club Series championship. He takes his second to last time out, and now yeah. it's third and four. Only one time out there now, Falls, with the clock ticking. He's going to stop it. Minute 36, back to third and four. There you go, Brad. This is it. The he can't let up a first he down. He went for the, the shot. He just came off an 11-play march for Brad. He got his first <laughs> offensive touchdown. He tried to go deep, but not on Deion Sanders. Not on Deion Sanders, and I assure you, you probably didn't recognize that personnel and know that was Deion on Hester. Deion's been blitzing all day, and that time he was in coverage. What a weapon Good mix-up of coverages. For, for Misery, who's now on offense. Third and four. This is big. Adjusts, and it's Randy Moss over to the right. Will he hand off? To Marcus Allen, one more time, force bread. Oh, a situation. We've got ourselves a situation here on fourth and two, and let's see if we can get into the mind of misery. Crucial situation, huge tackle by Jones there on the defensive line. He's gonna save his last time out, is bread on fourth and two. Though when Misery plays with some emotion, he, he never gets too antsy about it, though. He, he stays at an even kill, and that's something I like about him. Minute 10 to go. This is big falls. Your Pittsburgh Steelers club champion, Misery, with the ball, trying to put this game away. Snaps it, McNabb looks across the middle, and he goes deep downfield, and Brett is toasted. Chad Johnson Boom. lays down, and that is your ball game. Uh, Misery will move on in bread. Right. We'll be going home. And it's a theme we keep saying. Fourth and two, you're expecting the underneath stuff, and he goes up top for a huge gain. And Steeler Nation has to be so happy right now. They got Misery making a run, and they're still in it to be the first ever Club Series champions. We got the Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers still alive in this event for that us. First semifinal. Let's see it one more time. McNabb goes deep downfield, the accurate throw, and Chad Johnson hangs on, lays down, makes the smart clock decision, which Misery has done all day long. He's going to move on and face Killer Mike in our first semifinal. But we still have even more action coming up as LT, your Chiefs representative, will be taking on Strafen of the Vikings. And a lot of people haven't seen this kid Strafen play yet, RG, but he is one of the best real there deal. is at defense. Deal. And you see it. Misery cashes in on the deep throw. Anthony Pulley advances. He takes out Brett, David Katz. 17-14 for these two guys. What a performance. Bread fought back as well as he could, but ultimately just came up short. Good Deion sense. Sanders coming in for misery, and you know that's got to be a frustrating feeling, RG. But what was the ultimate factor in that misery game? 
I mean, it was just execution. Uh, Brett not being able to get it going on offense until until too late. Misery with a strong um, second half. And then Misery being able to convert on fourth down time and time again. That was a really big deal in that game. Hats off to him and hats off to Brett. He competed so well throughout this entire season. Isn't going to make it to the Madden Championship, but still able to represent the Buffalo Bills, which is an amazing experience, and I'm sure we'll see him again next year. Let's go find out about that fourth down magic from the man himself, Dave Grunfeld, standing by. Guys, Misery, congratulations on a hard-fought win right there. You told me at halftime, I'm not losing this game. You heard the guys say a lot of big fourth down conversions here. What was the biggest factor in your win? Right there when he brought down that safety, fourth and Ocho, wide open. <laughs> Ocho to the crib, very nice. And, and you're moving on now. How are you feeling going forward? I feel pretty good. I feel like I can win it all. Um, play Killer Mike next. You know, I think I can beat him and then beat whoever comes out on the bottom side of the bracket. So I'll be good. Fantastic. I love the confidence. Misery, congratulations. Good stuff. And I want to remind everybody that we are just coming up on the Madden Challenge. It is in a couple of weeks. We've got group play.